I'm Samuel Mann. I'm the managing director of both Somatrix and Somatec, and I founded the company 23 years ago. I'm Adam Wakefield. I'm the technical director of Somatrix. I've been with the company 15 years working with Sam. Because of the weather, the network systems are completely overwhelmed by these the climate changes happen and the network has been completely overrun. Drainage water is basically being channeled into uh, the, the sewer networks and pipe works and drainage networks, which because of the weather, as Sam says, has just become completely overwhelmed. We have a product called NORAC. What NORAC does is effectively keeps the screen clear for longer, which means that the screen itself will, in consent, allow the effluent to pass through the screen into the river without the passing of solids and rubbish along with it. This is basically uh, a mock-up of an upflow CSO. We've taken away the screen, which would be here before the overflow. So as we can see the effect of the rag going down and being drawn into the Venturi. Now we see the levels rising because of the storm. Now for some rag or so, we'll introduce some rag. So as the no rag takes the rags out, where would they go? Introduces back into the main sewer yeah. and on towards the treatment works. How does it feel even now to see an innovation that you've created actually in, in existence? Well, it feels very satisfying. From probably about eight years of research working on CSOs, not only see how they work, but see how they work in a fluid mechanics point of view, the direction of flow, the dynamics of it. So it's been very satisfying from that point of view. When did you think, yes, we've done it? Well, <laughs> we, we were really excited actually building the unit, and then just at the very last moment, our senior fabricator at that stage said, look, it would just look better if we added this extra bit of stainless piping to it. Yeah. Um, I was a bit, it wasn't part of my design, and I was a bit hesitant, but he said, no, look, it'll be better. I said, okay, let's go with that. And we took it to our, our test plant in Newport. Yeah. Adam rigged it all up. So we fired it all up and the flows were going through like this, but nothing was going through our meter. So I said to Sam, sorry mate. Everybody, um, everybody was like crestfallen. I wasn't actually because I just couldn't understand why it wasn't working because it should have worked. Yeah. Right? I, 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 I've done the math. I, it should have worked. And then I remembered that bend and I turned around and I said, get me a grinder. So he passed me a, a grinder, I cut that piece off, slung it, fired up again, same thing, boom. Wow. It worked. Yeah. Straight Straight away. Away. Yeah. Yeah. Look, look at we agree that something's got to be done and something's got to be done soon. These companies who operate CSOs have a mega problem. They realize that. They realize that from the fines and the news press they get in. Yeah, we've got a product here that we know works. We've tested it. We've trialed it. We've seen it work in the field. They gotta call somebody. Yeah. And it ain't shouldn't be Ghostbusters. Bring <laughs> no rag. Look at the line, call us. <laughs>